important when news just coming in to more soldiers have been injured in the Anantnang encounter that is still on 48 hours and counting and uh, news also coming in one soldier has apparently gone missing now, it's day three of the anti-terrorist operation in the Gadol forest the deeply forested area in the Anantnag district of South Kashmir Two senior officers, as I mentioned, uh, of the army and one JNK police officer, the DSP of Jammu and Kashmir police, they were killed in the encounter. Now, two more soldiers have been injured during the heavy gun battles that's going on for the past 48 hours and one soldier has reportedly gone missing. Now, the anti-terror operation has been intensified with heavy pounding on suspected militant hideouts in the forests after bodies of Colonel Manpreet Singh and Major Ashish were retrieved through specialized operations yesterday. Now, on Wednesday, the police said two Lashkar terrorists have been cornered, but so far there's no information of any uh, any of the terrorists being hauled up. Well, three officers, two from the army and one from the Jammu and Kashmir police have been killed during the anti-terror operation Well, the police had launched a major uh, counter-offensive. And now, uh, news also coming in that the mortal remains of Major Ashish has reached his, have reached his uh, hometown in Haryana. Our senior colleague Nazir Vasudi is now joining us live uh, on the phone line. Nazir, sir, so that encounter still continues and Two soldiers have been injured. What are, what are the latest details you have? Well, uh, this is the day three of this gun battle encounter where army and the police have been trying their best to uh, neutralize the militants who to pin them down. Uh, yesterday, police said that uh, two militants have been cornered, but so far there's no information or confirmation if any of them has been killed. Having said that, Army has now updated its information. They have said, besides the killing of Colonel Manpreet and Major Ashish and also DSP uh, Himayu, there are two soldiers have been injured. It has actually happened on the day one, uh, on, on, on Tuesday, say, on, 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 on Wednesday itself. But the information was not released so far. So last night, Army released this information. So it was the initial shootout. And also there are reports that one soldier may have gone missing. And there is no confirmation so far from the army because we are waiting as uh, the information is coming in um, uh, bit so we are not getting the uh, exact picture but exactly in the official version about this whole incident so far we know two most soldiers have been injured in this encounter army has intensified its offensive to neutralize militants here police had even identified one of the hold up militants as well he's a local Militant. So we have to see what exactly happened, but it has been a, you know, for whole day yesterday, there was heavy pounding on suspected militant hideouts in Gadol forest area. So this is day three of the operation. Yesterday evening, there was a army base homage to the fallen uh, army officers, Colonel Manpreet and Major Ashish at Army 15 Corps headquarters. Uh, James is left in Governor Manoj Sina also laid the way, so did the senior army and the police officers as well. Then the bodies were flown in special aircraft so that their last rites are today held with full military honor at their respective places. So this operation goes on and also there's, uh, you know, final rites of the last rites of the 